，有请米凯先生，北京梅赛德斯奔驰销售服务有限公司总裁兼首席执行官。先生们、先生们、媒体朋友们，大家早上好！我很高兴在家门口迎接你们参加本次发布会。北京欢迎你，本次欢迎你，天大、地大，都是朋友，请不用客气。今天我们有三款全球首发车型，十一款中国首发，包括新一代司机车。有意外的惊喜，让我惊喜的意外。You know, at an international press conference, sometimes we get complaints from our foreign guests that they don't understand my Chinese. But don't worry. Also, the Chinese don't understand it, <laughs> and therefore I switch to our common language, which is Ingwen、uh, English. People who know a little of the history of our brand here in China will know why the C-Class is very special to us. In 2014, here on this stage in Beijing, we introduced our game changer, the long wheelbase C-Class. A car that promised to transform the brand's perception from what had gone before. 380,000 customers since that day have confirmed that change, and with their trust, have placed the C-Class also still in quarter one of this year as its segment leader. The new C-Class continues to us,、uh, that aspiration to provide our customers with the best class. And the best in class, and delivers with this new facelift the upgraded intelligent drive systems that you know from the S class, a newly upgraded connectivity experience with fully digital instrument clusters, and a 12.3 inch screen in combination, enhanced comfort and convenience. There's wireless charging, energizing comfort, and 64 colors of ambient lighting. And with the new C-Class, we will also introduce our newest four-cylinder engine with 48-volt system, an advanced technology that pushes the efficiency limits of combustion engines through further electrification. In fact, of course, that aspiration to transform the desires of our customers into tangible product features in all of our cars forms a central part of our dedication. And that has helped us during the course of last year to retail over 600,000 cars to our Chinese customers, a record for any single market in a single year in the whole history of our brand. 2018 is also off to a good start. Over 174,000 of our Mercedes-Benz and smart vehicles have been placed in customers' hands in the first three months. In China, and our product offensive continues with over a dozen new or facelifted models coming to China, including the new C-Class, the CLS, and the new G-Class, and of course the car some of you may have seen last night. Besides constantly expanding our product offering, we also continue to enhance our appeal through innovations to meet and anticipate. The changing needs of the market and of our customers. In the field of digital platforms, we aspire to be the first to move their world by engaging our customers in more touch points and with more value. So we were the first manufacturer to implement our own fully comprehensive e-commerce platform for Mercedes-Benz and for Smart. We were the first brand to present a lifestyle ecosystem. With Mercedes Me Club, we are the first brand in China to fully digitalize all of our dealer outlets, and we are also the first to introduce a forum for our female customers with Shee's Mercedes. 
lifestyle experienced outside of the direct relationship that our customers enjoy with Mercedes, but where the values embedded and embodied in the brand add to their pleasure, is also something we continually strive to innovate. The Mercedes Me store Beijing, enjoyed since April 2016 by over one and a half million customers, has now been joined by Mercedes Me Shanghai, which opened its doors just 10 days ago on the Bund. And now we are exploring Mercedes bespoke furnishing as a means to bring Mercedes design elements and style in its many forms to home and interior furnishing. An initiative actually ignited by our advanced design center here in Beijing. Understanding what our customers expect of us and the role they would like us to play also forms part of the motivation in our social commitments here in China. This year, in addition to our support for NCPA, our cultural support extends to the Palace Museum at the Forbidden City, where we will make our contribution as a long-term CSR partner to help in the preservation and promotion of artifacts and buildings representing China's culture and its heritage. With this partnership, it is our hope that we can continue to be a humble contributor to China's journey of becoming a great and a modern society, not only through economic prosperity, but also through flourishing cultural development as well. Thank you very much for being here. God bless you. God bless China. And I hand over to my senior colleague, Dita Secha. Thank you very much.